Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can adjust your barometric pressure unit display on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. So what are we talking about here? One of the features on this watch is a built-in barometer sensor. You can display your barometric pressure in various different places. I've got it being displayed here on my watch face. Now this arrow that you're seeing deals with barometric pressure as well. That is the barometric pressure trend. It's basically what's my barometric pressure been doing in the last six hours. This number that you're seeing underneath it though is my current barometric pressure. I've got mine being displayed in hectopascals. What if you want to change that? What if you want it in inches of mercury or something else? How would we go about doing it? Like most things on this watch, there's several different ways you can do it on the watch. You could also do it on the Garmin Connect app and simply sync it over to your watch. The easiest way to change this value is if you've got the barometer glance installed, you can use the up or down button to go to your glances. I've got the barometer glance installed. Again, we can see my barometric pressure being displayed in hectopascals. While I'm on the barometer glance, if I press and hold the menu button, which is the middle button on the left-hand side, it will take me to a sub-menu for your barometer. The first option you will see is barometer options. Press GPS to choose it. And then you could use the up or down button. I'm gonna simply use the up button because if you press it once, it takes you to the bottom of the list, which is where your pressure value is, and that's what we're wanting to change. My barometric pressure is being displayed in hectopascals. If I press the GPS button, I can change that to something else. Let me show you all the options you've got. Hectopascals, millibars, millimeters of mercury, or inches of mercury. So just for kick's sake, I'm gonna change it to something else. Let's do millimeters of mercury. I'm gonna press the GPS button and I've successfully changed my barometric pressure units. Now I could press the back button several times. You can always press and hold the menu button and that will take you back well, actually it won't because I'm in a menu. I have to use the back button, sorry. So we pressed the back button a few times, got back to our main watch face, and you can see my barometric pressure now is being displayed in millimeters of mercury instead of hectopascals. That's why we're seeing the 760 versus the 1100 or whatever the value was earlier. That's the easiest way to do it. If you don't want to go into the barometer or maybe you don't have the barometer glance installed on your device, you could also do it through the main settings. To do that, we're going to press and hold the menu button. Again, the middle button on the left-hand side. You're going to simply use the up or down button. Again, I would recommend pressing the up button because you need to go to the bottom of the list where system is. Press GPS to choose system. And then again, you can use the up or down button. We're going to go all the way down until we see format. Press the GPS button to go into format. The very first option under the format menu is units. If you press GPS, You'll have all of your units being displayed on the watch and you can change all of them. So you've got your distance units, press down, you've got your pace speed, your elevation units, your weight, your height, your temperature, and finally you will see your barometric pressure units. Again, we could press the GPS button, it will show us those same exact options we saw earlier and we could change our barometric pressure to whatever value we want. I'm going to press GPS to choose hectopascals again. Now I'll show you how you can press and hold the menu button from the main menu, it will take you back to your main watch face. And now, again, we've successfully changed our barometric pressure units back to hectopascals. Pretty simple stuff. That's how you change your barometric pressure units on your Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. As always, I hope the video helps.